Welcome to LTC 8875, Technology and Mathematics Education. This is an online course that's going to be running throughout this semester. Starting today, we're going to be going through seven two-week long units um, that are going to focus on different aspects of technology and mathematics education. We're going to look at some of the media coverage. We're going to look at some of the research on technology and math ed. We're going to develop our own nuanced understanding of the role of technology in mathematics education and its potential. Um, we're also going to see some of the evidence for how technology might be used. So kind of build that understanding um, about that issue of technology in mathematics education, which is very relevant today. We are also going to be trying out some different apps, some software, some different technology, and really looking at how it supports students' mathematics learning or how it might actually be a detriment or have some drawbacks to the way that students think about mathematics. Um, so we'll be doing that. We're also going to be doing some mathematics problems um, along the way as we do explore those technology issues. And um, at the end, we are going to have a final unit that is going to address a group project. So you will have a chance to work with some other people in the class who are maybe teaching something similar to you and you can design a lesson that involves technology in a rich way and talk about how the technology supports the goals of the lesson. So that'll be at the end of the semester. But along the way, we will have those other units and they'll be on a two week pattern that will basically start on a Monday. There'll be um, some sort of interaction that takes place online. There'll usually be a reading or a couple readings and an assignment, something that you would need to do over that two week period. And that unit would wrap up on the following Sunday. Um, so you can always kind of look in, look, sign into Canvas, which is where our site will be based um, on Mondays, and look for kind of what your plan is going to be for that new unit. Um, so I do want to say, first of all, um, that I'm Sam Otten, if I didn't introduce myself already, but I know a lot of you. I'm looking forward to interacting with all of you. But I'm Sam Otten. I'll be instructor for the course. We also have three course assistants, Amy Dwiggins, Sing Hyun Yao, and Wen Min Zhao. Um, so you might see emails from them or you might see feedback from any of us on uh, different assignments or different things along the way. Um, now what I want to do, um, first of all, is say that we will base the course on Canvas. So uh, what you should do is log into Canvas regularly, at least every two days or at most every three days, to see what's going on in Canvas, make sure you're up to date, and to participate in the interactive parts of the course. If you need a quick guide to Canvas, um, I am going to post a link to my Intro to Canvas video from this summer. Um, so it's not quite directly relevant to this course, but you'll get the idea of how to log into Canvas, where to find the different things. And we will be using it for the discussion forums, for turning in assignments, for sharing the readings and the resources. And basically, Canvas will collect everything that you need for this course. And if we have some stuff that's outside Canvas, we will link to it from Canvas so you'll still know where to find it. Um, now what I want to do is just give a quick overview of this first unit, which starts today, and it's going to run for two weeks. Um, and this is a getting started unit, and it's a pretty light unit because we know this is a busy time of year for everybody, so we don't want to burden you with lots of assignments, lots of required things to do right when you're also meeting your students, getting your classroom going, um, and just, you know, the uh, sadness of the end of summer. So a light unit for right now, but here's what it's going to look like for the next two weeks. First of all, watching this video. Um, and then looking through the syllabus. So the syllabus is posted. You can see the um, evaluation breakdown where the grade is going to kind of be computed. Um, it does list the seven units that we're planning to have. Uh, and then after you take a look through that syllabus, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, but really, a lot of the content is going to be shared later for each unit on Canvas. So the syllabus, syllabus just kind of gives a general overview. Um, once you've looked through that, then you can start right away on the main things you have to do for Unit 1. So the first thing you have to do for Unit 1 is to go to the Introduction Discussion Forum, and that's a chance for us to all meet each other. So you'll give your name, and then you will um, share a little bit of information about your relationship with technology. So what technology have you used in the past? What technology do you hope to use in the future related to math ed? And then we also are hoping to share some pictures. And so please embed your picture into your post. Um, rather than attaching it. Um, just the embedding makes it easier for us to look across the whole class um, for all of us. So that'll be a chance to introduce yourself. Please do that by the 29th. So this week we should be seeing everybody's introductory post up here. And then next week we can all look across the introductory posts and have some interaction there. There is a reading to complete by uh, Corey Webble and myself that we wrote um, giving kind of a position statement or some thoughts about technology and mathematics education. So you'll read that reading and then there is a discussion forum to go along with the reading. So that's called Webble and Otten, and there are a few discussion prompts that we are looking forward to seeing your thoughts on in response to the reading. 
So that you should do um, within these two weeks. You should try to do the reading as soon as you can, but by the latest, you know, by the end of this week, so that we have a full week to engage in the discussion. And again, in the discussion forums, uh, we are looking for active participation. It, it mentions this in the syllabus, but I'll also just say it right here, that we are looking for a substantive initial post from everybody um, in each of the required discussion forums. But then we are also going to be looking for interaction between people. So we want to see people thoughtfully engage with others. So that might mean asking a thoughtful question. It might mean building on what they said. It might be uh, giving a counterpoint or a different perspective from what somebody else shared originally. So um, we're looking for those initial posts from everybody, but also we're going to look for uh, interactive posts from everybody as well. So that would especially be the case in this Webel and Otten discussion forum where we'll look for your reactions and your thoughts um, based on that reading. But also then next week especially, we'll be looking for interactions between people. And that'll kind of be the pattern for this course. Um, we'll basically have one week to kind of get your own stuff going, do your own thinking or do your own work, and then we'll have a full week to have interactions between people. And a lot of times those interactions will be discussion forums on Canvas, but not every time. We're also going to do some other creative things, different ways of getting people to interact. So that's really it for the unit, pretty basic. Um, just get yourself oriented to the course, make sure you can log into Canvas, check out the syllabus, and then introduce yourself, and then um, read that article and engage in the discussion forum about the article. Pretty simple, so hopefully that's a, a doable two weeks, and we look forward to just getting everybody going, and then next week we'll start the more substantive content. So, all right, it's great to see everybody. Looking forward to this semester. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you online.